In this video, we're going to show you how we made this delicious natural Greek yogurt. In this video, you just need two ingredients whole milk and a bit of yogurt with live bacteria cultures. Because we're making Greek yogurt, the starter is going to be Greek natural yogurt. First of all, you will need two glass containers with lids. Pour in roughly about 500 millilitres of milk. Now we need to heat up the milk in a water bath. You will need a pot large enough to contain the jar. Heat the milk until it's warm but not boiling. Stir the milk to make sure the heat is evenly distributed. Turn off the heat and leave the milk to sit in there. After the water has cooled off, it's safe to take out the jars. Leave them out for 10 minutes at room temperature. Remember, your starter should be at room temperature before use. Once it's cooled down, add two tablespoons of Greek yogurt or whatever starter you have. Give it a good stir. We wrapped up the jars in a heat insulated bag. The best place to keep it warm is in an airing cupboard, if you have one. We'll leave it in the airing cupboard overnight. It's the next day, so now it's time to take it out and see what's happened. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's open up the bag and see if we have our yogurts. As you can see, it's nice and firm, so there's no straining needed. Let's give it a taste. Mmm! Now our yoghurt's finished, put it in the fridge for a few hours to get the best result so it's nice and cold. If you want to make your yoghurt thicker, then you have to strain it. I'm going to show you an easy way to strain your yoghurt. You will need a straining bag and a cup. First of all, you need to cover the container with the straining bag so it's flat on the top. Hold it down and flip it over onto the cup. Just like this. The longer you leave it, the thicker the yogurt is. We suggest that you put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. So, it's the next day after straining. Let's see what the yogurt looks like. As the yogurt was already thick, 
Not much liquid was strained. Now let's scoop the yogurt to see what it looks like. And here we have it, a perfect, beautiful, thick Greek yogurt. We're gonna have it with a nice manuka honey.